All right, three minutes. I think that's really magical. It kind of brings you back to a childlike state sometimes. And I really enjoy being there and just having fun on the page and seeing what happens. For 40 years, that magic has been fueled at Interlochen Center for the Arts in the creative writing program. So the rising action is then? And they write poetry fiction, nonfiction, uh, plays, screenplays, um, sci-fi, horror, you name it, we're writing it. I wanted to test the limits of that genre. I wanted it to be realistic fiction that still felt magical. Let's face it, who couldn't get creative in this setting? Around 30 aspiring writers spend their days in the cozy comfort of the writing house, nestled between books, a fireplace, and good company. I never realized the importance of having peers who were also your friends, who were interested in what you were okay. doing. Yeah. Back home, I had a group of friends who were supportive and loving, but who didn't understand what I needed. But my friends here can give me help with my craft, can help me workshop on my own. We can have conversations about books that we're reading and books that we want to write. And our, my learning expands outside of the classroom. <laughs> That breakfast to bedtime education seems to be doing the trick. Lizzie Lemieux and Alexa Kernu are two of only five students in the region nominated for a national award for stories they've submitted to Scholastic this brother year. And how he deals with living with his ill mother who's dying of cancer and how he deals with losing his brother he was once so close with. And um, I think it's my favorite thing that I've written so far because I can see how much I've grown here. Right, they're the ones that put in the time. Um, they're the ones that, you know, revised and revised and revised and put the package together and, and put it in the mail. Griffith says the hours they put in could very well help them become a household name down the road. So I have no doubt that there are students that, that are here now um, working in the writing house that are going to go on to publish books and, and, um, and have their work read by you know, thousands and hopefully millions of people. And so that's a really great feeling.